everyone, it's Adrian Leah. I have a couple of things that I wanted to show you guys. I mainly have clothing for this video, but I'll start off with the non-clothing items. I wasn't using a blouse, so I hand sewed it into a tarot bag. It holds the steampunk tarot. And this is also the trimmed version of it. With the way that the blouse was designed, I took the ones that were less detailed and then I used it for the bag. It also had some, I guess, rope to tie up or thread to tie up the, the back of it. And I just took some of it and put a button on the bag. It's a new year, so the pharmacy got new testers for the essential oils. I took some of the older ones, and they switch them out every couple of months. I got the Peaceful Sleep. which has orange peel, tangerine oil, lavender oil, chamomile oil, ylang ylang oil, sandalwood oil. The aroma is floral citrus and the attributes are calming, relaxing, and soothing. So I think it smells nice. I have a large diffuser. Um, I don't have it with me right now, but I'll use it whenever I get a chance to get it. Then I have bergamot. And this even has the type of bergamot on here. So it's citrus bergamia. So that would be the genus and the species of the um, plant. And then the aroma is sweet and fruity, benefits lively, inspiring, uplifting, and mixes well with cedarwood oil, rosewood oil, tangerine oil, and chamomile oil. It has a, a bright aroma to it. The third one I got is Jasmine, and it's warm, sweet, and floral, attributes romantic, relaxing, and common, calming, and then clear the air. So this is another favorite, aside from the peaceful sleep. And it's peppermint oil, eucalyptus oil, hyssop oil, and rosemary oil, aroma, fresh mint, and attributes, purifying, cleansing, and refreshing. It smells like a, a toned down mint aroma. So it's, it's more balanced. Yeah. 
I got boots. I usually wear furry boots. So these are the ones that I usually wear. I have these in black as well. Did you throw them a curveball and you switched it up this time? Yeah, because um, in the warmer weather, I would still wear them and they don't bother me. Um, but I figured I would get ones that don't have fur on them, but I all, but I did get another pair with fur. So the ones that don't have fur are these boots and they're green leather. I think that this snakeskin pattern matches well with it. They're really comfy and they feel nice quality. I wanted to find ones that were decent so that they would last long. And then the other boots that I got. I really love these because they're the style that I usually get. Um, I tend to lean towards Italian boots because these are Italian boots and the other fur boots that I have are Italian boots. I love that they have like Eskimos and um, Huskies because those are my favorite and it looks like they're mushing or going on to maybe like a the Iditarod races. It came with the plastic on here so I'm happy that I got these because they're a different color than what I have and the green going back to the green ones these match um pretty much all of my outfits I have been enjoying more velvet I have a velvet shirt that I use but I wanted to get a jacket to go over things this I'm wearing around the house. It's like a, a fuchsia color. I got this one a while ago. This one is a green color. It's brighter than what I expected it to be, but I think I might, I'll use it eventually. I like the bottom of it, so, sorry. The bottom is it drapes, so it flows in the back. And it's, it fits well. I also got a, another fanny pack. The fanny pack that I was using is starting to fry and I'm gonna repurpose the zipper in it so that one's retired I got this one from Etsy And it's a, a side fanny pack. Mm. 
from Forage. It has um, a pocket in the back. And it's nice quality. I wore it the other day. A lot of these items are from Etsy. This one is a little more casual. I usually go for things that stand out. This one stands out too. I love the brand emblem. It's Wanderlust Fairy Dust with the their rabbit. So it has a crescent moon in the front. I got a larger size so it can slouch and be a little looser. And then the back has some whittling creatures on a tree. So that would be like the spine. I wear this one a lot to work. This I thought was cool because I like wearing a tank top with this. I wear a lot of tank tops and short sleeves. So this is also a slouchier one. I, I feel balanced when I get stuff like that when um, maybe one clothing item is a little looser and then the other one is more fitted. Um, so these are Similar to Haram pants. They're fun to wear. They're comfortable. Sometimes I wear pants underneath. Because it is a... I got a larger size. So sometimes it slips around the waist area. But um, if I put something underneath it. Because it still has... I still have room then it doesn't slide as much. One of the places I recently shopped at online on Etsy is Calbalia. So I usually connect to a couple shops and the ones that I do connect to I get a couple things from the shop. I do have a lot of Pilates or yoga clothing from Lotus Tribe clothing. That's where I get majority of those types of things. But I really love the Euro Gypsy style that they had because the style that I like or the different styles are the Euro Gypsy, um, more of the late 1800s uh, English style look or um, even some of the hippie or elven type of clothing. And I do like steampunk as well, but uh, maybe a little less industrial for everyday looks. So it came in this bag. I repurposed this bag. I think it's super nice. I put some samples in here that I get from work. This one, different companies, well, when we get different over-the-counter supplements they give us samples or they come into the 
pharmacy to bring us the samples. So there's a couple of things. There's probiotics, um, magnesium, and some of them are different strengths too. Modicare. I love the the foot lotion. This one's the Lily version. The CBD one that we have in the store. CV Sciences. So I don't I can't attest for other places that sell CBD products, but we have it behind the register and the products that we have are tested and what you see as far as ingredients that are on the bottle or what's in the bottle. Uh, as far as supplements, we like to keep them pretty minimal. Um, so PR Encapsulations is one of the more popular ones that we have that people tend to enjoy because they don't have too many um, ingredients to go in there besides maybe a base and then the in the active ingredients in there and then it's also a hypoallergenic one which is convenient and I have talked about them a couple of times because I have tried their products this one another one that we have is designs for health so whole body collagen super K And a pop another popular one is the, um, I'm going to say this wrong, it's Keolic Aged Garlic Extract. So this is, there's a couple of different products that we have for that one. So it's a Japanese aged garlic, so it's aged through temperature and time. And it balances out the um, unstable compounds in the garlic. So it's Allison in order to uh, make it more of an odorless, uh, I guess, uh, it's it works well and it's not too sharp because it's also the bite of the garlic that um, it balances out to. It's kind of, it reminds me of when you're, um, like during Halloween when I would go trick-or-treating and we would have our pillowcases. So with the Kalbalia store, um, Kalbalia, it, it, sorry if I'm not saying it exactly, I was excited because of this skirt it's what I was looking for and it looks really purposeful it looks like one of the um, really Taurus um, no so Bri is a Taurus and he I said touristy. no uh, but said yeah cuz he's a Taurus and one of the things that he has hung up is like this quote and I look at it, and I'm like, that's so Taurus. It says, live every day with intention. So when I see this, it, because it's an asymmetric skirt, so the front is shorter, and then it elongates, which I feel like is really helpful because I do love skirts, but I... I like stuff that I can move around in, so I'm super pleased with this um, skirt from them I got. And a couple of other things, the shirt that I, or the, um, the top that I'm wearing, it, I have it on, but if I showed you, it would be kind of strange looking but it's it's kind of a one where 
there's two tassels and they're each side has a hole but you only need one hole and you put one of the tassels through the hole and then it it wraps around like a like a robe maybe but it has a place where you can put it to go through so it's it's not completely showing on the outside and it's it's green so I really thought that was nice and I have these which I feel like I'm gonna get something to go underneath it but it, they are I can wear them so these are like crop tops that I feel like I wanted to wear with the higher waisted skirts that I have so that it has like a triangle shape at the bottom and then the back has more of a string design. I also got it in purple. I originally got it in another, ordered it for another color, but then they, they didn't have it. So I asked about the purple because they didn't show it on their, on their website. And I really love the purple. Oh, there is another essential oil over there that I didn't get. Maybe I'll show it later, but it's it's showing up more of indigo, but it is a, a solid purple. I don't have many purples, but I do like wearing them. And then this one is another one where I feel like it would be better to show try it on but this wraps around uh, your neck and then this is the front I might get a different type of bra to go underneath but I thought it was cool and it has this design in the back where you can tighten it We'll just get the other essential oil, but the mouse is on top of the play video or stop play video, so if I don't click on it, then I'll show you. So the last essential oil is rosemary. And and this is um, Roman Rosmarinus officinalis. Aroma warm, camperaceous. Benefits purifying, uplifting. Mixes well with bergamot, lemongrass, peppermint, thyme oil. And these oils differ in prices depending on how available they are. So rosemary is also a special herb because it was the first herb that I worked with. So I figured I would pick this one up. I like this one because this one, it it smells pretty grassy too, if you understand that description of it. Or it has more of the camper scent to it. Oh, and I got this bracelet. Because in the plaza, there's also a Russian store. So this is the ring that I got from the Irish store and I'm going to look more into pearls because I 
when I was getting more stuff, I um, noticed that I had another a pearl ring that I got from another place, so I feel like it connects to me in some way, or maybe uh, like some of the symbolism. I read that maybe it was spiritual wealth, or uh, the treasure of the sea, um, deepening the important relationships, and I have my phone since I'm filming on the laptop. Loyalty, dedication, steadfastness, integrity, generosity, purity. Protection and security. Path. Uh, An ultimate symbol for wisdom. Calming effect, serenity, strengthening valuable relationships, and convey a sense of safety. Symbolize purity, integrity, and loyalty. Mm. So the other one, I other accessory I got is this bracelet. I thought it was a, I think it's really cool because it reminds me of like bullhorns and it's said to help with blood pressure. And thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this was interesting. And we'll see you in another video.